that's bringing you to Ape this year. Um, how many years have you done Ape? I've been doing Ape since 2007, so I guess that would be seven or eight years. Oh wow, so you've seen some of the changes they've implemented. Um, I haven't talked to too many artists who have been uh, long-term attendees of Ape. Um, can you speak a little bit to some of the changes and uh, if, if how, how you feel it's affected the convention and the, the people who attend in the crowd?
in Atlanta? Portland. Portland, okay, I'm sorry. It was just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I did pretty poorly there. Oh, wow. Um, but I've done well at Stumptown, which is in Portland. And it's just a different, a different vibe. It's just yeah. Rose City was all about superheroes. Stumptown was just more like a in terms of independent creators and people who want to meet the actual artists and that sort of thing. your work. Can you talk about your experiences with that uh, a little bit? Is it something that you did out of necessity, or do you always intended on moving towards creating a small press? Um, so, for the first volume Kong, I, I got a Zarek grant. Uh, okay. I applied for that, and then once I got it, I just felt like I should self-publish. Yes. See what, like, what goes into that, and if I can It's going to be difficult. Yeah, I don't think 
where can we find your work online? You mentioned that uh, you're considering kickstarting the third book as well. How, how far in the future is that, do you think? Probably in about a year or so? Yeah, it's well, long actually, long. I'm, I'm working on a, uh, a fantasy comic. It's called Rickety Stitch in the Gelatinous Goo. lighthearted adventure sort of story? Yeah, there's a little uh, pathos, pathos, however you want to say that, um, in it. Uh, <laughs> okay. So it's not just all lighthearted. Dark overtones. <laughs> Dark overtones. All right, and um, where can we find uh, copies of uh, Pang, the Wandering Shaolin Monk?